Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here. I hope everybody had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Let's talk some mountain weather here. The snow came through, as was forecast for the Wasatch, about eight inches there at Alta. Um, I looked at, uh, I also looked at solitude. Let me bring up the camera there. They're reporting about five inches, and you can see the sun starting to break through the cloud deck. So the bulk of uh, accumulation has come through the Wasatch. You might still have a few lingering snow showers, but now the, um, the a lot of that energy is moving into Colorado, where right now we're still waiting. We've picked up a little bit of accumulation, but really most of our accumulation is ahead of us at this point, has yet to happen. You can see the view at Loveland Ski Area, still some sunshine breaking through the clouds, so we haven't socked in the mountains just yet, uh, but uh, the moisture is increasing and that will happen. Um, during the course of today, tonight, and into tomorrow, in fact. So it's going to last into the 25th. Here are my uh, bullet points today. So snow moving into Colorado and also New Mexico through the 25th. So it's coming out of Wyoming, coming out of Utah, moving into Colorado and New Mexico. High pressure ridging then builds in for a quiet stretch, 1126 through 1129 across the west. Then a new pattern starting to emerge. 11.30 through at least 12.3, probably 12.5 or even 12.6. That's the way it looks right now. And it may be the case that we split the jets and we load both of them with moisture. So we could be getting snow, Pacific Northwest, BC, and also uh, California, New Mexico, Colorado, Utah, Wyoming. All these places could get snow with both jets contributing. Let me take you back and show you what uh, the water vapor satellite imagery looks like. So you can see the current state of affairs. Um, reds and oranges represent your drier air aloft, your moistures and your whites and your blues. So let me just draw the, um, the Arctic, this Canadian front that's moving through. And that's what's generating a lot of the snow. And it's, it's definitely delivering colder air. We're getting higher snow ratios. So we're really cranking out the efficiency and we're getting every flake of snow possible from the amount of moisture that's in the air with this thing. But you can see what's behind it. We've got a couple of other storm systems. This is a big one up there in the Gulf of Alaska. And that'll be part of the pattern changer down the road. But initially it's going to push, it's going to be, it's going to be forcing a big ridge of high pressure into the west. And then eventually it'll move out and um, we'll get that split jet potentially. Let me show you how this works out on the uh, forecast radar and satellite. So that's the current state of affairs by this afternoon. All that snow moving into Colorado and New Mexico, you can see it. that's the case through tomorrow morning. And even tomorrow afternoon, it starts to break up and then move away by Saturday night, Sunday morning. And then we're into this quieter stretch of weather here with high pressure from the coast into Colorado. Then things will start to shift. By the time we get into the 29th, watch California. That's the first area of low pressure that spins in. So what's going to happen is we'll have energy on the southern branch, and we're also going to have energy diving in on the northern branch. Let me show you on the jet, on the forecast jet stream, what that could look like. So this is by the 30th. So you can see the northern branch coming out of Alaska. That's going to be hitting the Pacific Northwest. Look at the southern branch. That's just starting to get energized and reset. I showed you that low pressure that's going to be moving into California. Let me show you what happens even further down the road. So by 12.3, northern branch is bringing moisture into the Pacific Northwest, Idaho, Montana, BC, probably Banff. Southern jet is also energized, and it's pulling in moisture and areas of low pressure um, through Utah and uh, Colorado and probably New Mexico as well. So we could be getting a double dose. All right, here is the, the forecast snow. For the rest of today, through the 26th, most of the accumulation has yet to occur in Colorado, and most of that is across the western slope in the San Juans, where uh, Snowmass and Crested Butte, we could probably go, you know, five to eight inches, five to ten, somewhere right in there, and about a foot for the uh, the San Juans, potentially up to two feet over Wolf Creek. You're going to get kind of um, some spin that comes through and keeps the snow going for longer, and some snow there in uh, northern New Mexico. Now, looking down the road. This is 1127 through 12.3. And again, both jets could be contributing. The timeline for this, um, in Colorado, um, probably see a couple of different waves come through, 1130 to 12.2 and another one, 12.4 to 12.5. Um, in Utah, potentially, um, 1130 and then 12.2 through 12.5. So there's some snow even beyond this that I'm not showing you. 
in Washington, up there around Mount Baker and Stevens and Whistler and Rainier. Um, once it settles in about 1130, it's, it's a pretty moist flow through about 12.6. So some interesting things happening down the road here and a lot to look forward to, guys. Thanks for tuning in here. Always appreciate it and take care.